7. Good evening. $100,000 could save St. Joe Harbor. Just last week, we told you it was closed indefinitely. Now, that's about to change. WSBT's Colleen Ferrero was there today, and Colleen, two weeks from today, we could see way more activity there. Well, maybe even sooner, Dustin. We're seeing some hope for the harbor. Today, Congressman Fred Upton announced emergency funding to dredge the harbor. Ships will soon move more freely in and out of the harbor, saving businesses and jobs. The odds were really stacked against us. Impassable. The buildup of sand and sediment underwater has stopped ships from traveling to St. Joe. Just last week, the harbor was shut down. It's critical that this commercial port stay open. So Congressman Fred Upton, the Army Corps, and a handful of supporters made it happen. It was like literally a, a, a Hail Mary in the fourth quarter with two seconds left on the clock. $100,000 have been secured to dig a 20-foot ditch in the end of the outer harbor, allowing ships easy access to deliver goods. Goods. By mid next week, a contractor will lay out plans to dredge the harbor, hoping to have it up and running again as of January 3rd. Words fail me to describe how happy I am over that. Pete Berghoff owns Dock 63. If the dredging is successful, he's optimistic that enough salt and cement would come in to get Michigan through the winter, but that's all weather permitting. I watch the weather every day and uh, say a little prayer and, uh, you know, thank you. Shipping season ends mid January, so Mother Nature must cooperate right now. And she has so far, the harbor has yet to freeze over this year. But earlier this year, well, she was quite stubborn. Remember those wild waves in St. Joe this past September? That's what put this harbor in jeopardy most recently. The winds drifted more sand and sediment than usual into the water, causing the water levels to decrease. This problem had Berghoff's business on the line. I was thinking very negatively, and, uh, you know, I knew things were happening. But I was worried about the calendar running out. But patience paid off. My day ended great. My holiday is going to be great. So is there a long-term solution to this problem? Because of a constant lack of harbor funds, this could very well happen again. So Congressman Upton hopes to tap the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund. Now a bill will be on the floor in March from there. He hopes to use fees from the industry itself to dredge commercial harbors because, Dustin, having the money to dredge has been an issue all along. And yeah. having those constant fees will mm -hmm. really make these projects uh, more available to do them more often. Yeah, that's great news for uh, those workers, those business owners who've been really up in the air on this all, all throughout the fall. And people usually don't think they underestimate the power of a harbor and mm -hmm. we get all our goods from there and it's the most economical way to do business sometimes. Colleen.